Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you have understood the launch mode single task without affinity and also did the comparison of single task with and without task affinity. In this particular video, we will start with a new launch mode called as single instance. As per the definition, it says that it is same as single task except that the system doesn't launch any other activities into the task holding the instance. Trying to understand single instance by comparing from the beginning can be a little bit tricky. So we will ignore the first statement and concentrate on the very next statement which says that the activity is always the only member in its task and any activity started by this one open in a separate task. What it means is assume that this is the declaration of activities we have in the manifest file and activity B with the launch mode as single instance. Just observe that I have not put any affinity as of now to the activity B. So when I start activity A, this would be the state of the task and next is I launch activity B, it will be launched as a part of another task. Now what happens when I launch activity C? As per the definition, activity C cannot be part of task 2 because activity B can only be the activity in the task 2. So activity C will be put in task 1 and it will be brought to the foreground. Now after this, if I launch activity B, activity B is already present in the task 2. So there is no need to create another new instance of activity B, existing activity B in task 2 will be brought to the foreground. And after this, if I launch activity D, activity D will be put on top of activity C in the task 1 and it will be brought to the foreground. Now the question is what if it also had a affinity that is the task B also had an affinity associated with it. The answer is theoretically speaking it wouldn't make any difference but practically speaking there is one small difference between a single instance with task affinity and without task affinity. Rather than talking about it, I would show you in a demo. So let's go to the code. So you can observe that I have a activity B here and the launch mode is single instance. Let me run this particular application and if I launch the application, you will observe that I have a starting activity A and the number of tasks are two. If you can ignore the launcher activity, it is basically one task and that task contains activity A. And if I launch activity B, you can observe that the number of tasks got increased even though I don't have any task affinity. And if I do show recent activities, it will only show one task. It won't show any other previously existing task. In this case, you would expect that it will show the task containing activity A, but it is not showing. Please make a mental note of it. Now what I will do is I will add a affinity here, com dot some affinity and let me rerun this application. So activity A got launched and now if I launch activity B from the looks of it you don't see any difference. Total number of tasks is 2 but as soon as I click on the show recent activities it will show 2 tasks one containing the activity A and the other containing the activity B. And I can go to the previous task. That is the only advantage you have when you declare the task affinity. You can switch between the two tasks. If you don't declare a task affinity, you will not be able to do this switching, even though the number of tasks are more. So now let's go back to the discussion. So now the question is, if I had done the same set of actions, single task with affinity and without affinity, what would have been the difference? In case of single task with affinity, this would be the final state of the task and in case of single task without affinity this would be the state of the task. If you are not familiar with this conclusion I would suggest you to go back to the previous videos where I have discussed about task affinity and single task in a very detailed manner. Can you observe the difference here? The difference is the way activities are arranged on top of activity B. That is there is an activity D on top of activity B in task 2 or in task 1. The difference is activity B is the only activity in its task. That is the difference between a single task and single instance. In case of single instance, the activity B will be the only activity in its task and that is what the very first statement of the definition says.
So in a nutshell, what we can say is single instance will always be at the root of the new task and no other activity can be part of the task containing the single instance activity. Having understood this, there is another important thing that Android documentation says that the single task and single instance are not appropriate for most of the applications because it may result in an interaction model that is likely to be unfamiliar to the users because in Android, what user expects is when you hit a back button go to the previous activity not to some unknown activity he doesn't understand there is a concept of task there is a concept of activity so as a developer you need to be very sure about do you absolutely need this so far what we have done is we have manipulated the tasks or the stacks by declaring the launch mode in the manifest file there is another way of doing this we shall discuss this in the next upcoming videos that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye